Hey guys, it's me, Chasey Poo. Today, I'm going to be talking about some topic that is very, like, might be triggering, might be dysphoria-inducing for some people, depending on how I approach this topic. I have wanted to do this topic. I can't even tell you for how long, but I never know how to approach it, and I don't want to hurt people and stuff like that, so I'm going to content warning this video right now. I am going to be talking about trans mask individuals and their bodies, and I'm specifically going to be talking about their growth, their dick, okay? So I'm going to say the word once so that we all know what I'm talking about, so there's no questions and we don't have to answer it a hundred times in the comments together. So I will say that when a trans individual who is on the trans mask spectrum goes on testosterone, their clitoris will grow, okay? And that becomes kind of like their little dick. So what I am going to be talking about in this video, because I want to be very clear, is that this growth I will now refer to as either the growth or your dick. So these are the two words that I'm going to be using. I don't want you to mix it up with anything. I'm not talking about prosthetics. I'm not talking about dildos. I'm not talking about any of those things. I'm literally talking about what is on your body and what has grown from testosterone. So I will also, content warning more, I will be talking about some specific parts of people's bodies and I want to make sure that we understand and I don't want to trigger anyone or literally like trigger anyone's dysphoria because I can understand how dysphoric some of these words can be. So I'm just letting you know, if you don't want to hear these words, don't watch the video, unfortunately. But um, also a warning, I am going to be a little bit graphic in what I'm explaining because this is kind of like a, like, like a how-to video but also like information which I think is super important about this topic. So if you're like a parent and stuff like that and you don't really want to know about this stuff, just don't watch this video. But like, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Alright, so now that everyone's out of the room that might be uncomfortable with this, Let's, let, let's talk, let's take our pants off and talk about this, no. Um, so yes, the growth and penetrating. So I've been asked to talk about this, I wanted to talk about this, what does it mean? Basically the growth that you have, okay, your dick, um, you are able, if you have enough growth, to actually penetrate somebody and this specific body that you can penetrate. It doesn't have to be a man, a woman, it doesn't have to be a trans woman, a, a, like a trans man, a cis, a uh, cis, TM. Um, it doesn't matter. All bodies, okay? This is what we're talking about here today is all bodies can be penetrated by your dick if your dick has grown enough. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about what if you're pre-T. What can you do to make your growth and your dick bigger because you're not able to access hormones or you can't for medical reasons or you just can't right now? Um, you can try pumping, but I cannot assure you that pumping will give you enough length in order to be able to penetrate someone um, or penetrate a type of toy. So I feel like it's important just to know that and not to have super high expectations, but also to know that there are options if you're not on hormones yet. But right now I'm specifically going to talk about people who have growth. So like I said, there is a specific amount of growth that you can be able to penetrate with. It's not everyone that can do it who is on testosterone who has had growth down there um, that is able to penetrate because it will grow. That I think I've met one person in my entire life that just it didn't never grew on testosterone, which is like it usually grows for everyone. So, um, but for some people it grows. I think uh, the number is six to uh, three to six centimeters. But for other people it's like two inches or two and a half inches, three inches. It can get pretty big, which is is really great um, but don't expect those big numbers because not everyone gets those numbers and it's like I wish it was bigger but mm. so you can try pumping just to like do that and you can also try a DHT cream I've talked about this in the past um, I'll put the link in the video below I did make this video like four or five years ago though so I don't remember if the the website that you have to use to buy this type of cream if it's still active but I'll try to look and I'll put the information down there baby she's so vocal She's like, please stop talking about this, daddy. <laughs> anyway, to get on with it, um, you have to have enough growth in order to be able to penetrate, but I have seen some people who don't have that much growth who have said that they're able to penetrate their partner and it's no problem. So let me just give you a like how to penetrate your partner because it's going to get a little bit like graphic here. So just to let you know, if you are sleeping with a partner who has a vagina, all right, now the way that has been the easiest for me to be able to do this because I've been able to do this for years since 2000, when I started hormones, um, you gotta lift the leggies up, okay? And for me, the easiest way that I have found it is to have like the person's legs up and like really like, like, 
this is the person's leg, okay? This is their parts here and their faces here. You see what I'm saying? You put the legs like up really high to the point where their butt and their back is kind of like lifted off from the bed. And then, so you're able to kind of penetrate like that. It's very hard to do like the, like, um, what, missionary position? That's what it's called, right? Where you're like on top of the person and you're able to like slip your dick in and go like this. Um, that's very hard because there are a lot of ligaments under your dick that are connected. If you do want a clitoral release, you can do that. It's called a simple metoidioplasty. They cut the ligaments underneath so you're able to kind of like be free. And at that point, you could try to do it missionary style. But because a lot of people aren't able to do that because of the ligaments, this has been the easiest way for me to do it. You lift the leggies up and then, so the back and the butt are kind of elevated and then you're, you're kind of like going on top of the person like this. So the legs are up and you're kind of like, not like, like sitting on them, but kind of. And then you're able to kind of penetrate and put your dick inside the person's hole. So it's very similar if we're gonna talk about if you wanna do anal or if you're with somebody who has a penis and they like anal. Um, it doesn't matter who you're having sex with, it doesn't matter at all. Um, you are able to, just keep in mind, buttholes are a little tighter than the front. Um, so using a lot of lube, I have seen some people who have been able to penetrate um, the like their partner's uh, butt, which is fantastic. I unfortunately have not been able to do that because the people I've been with have like really tight asses. Like, come on, hunties, get with the anal program. <laughs> uh, but that's not something that I need, but I could absolutely understand how for some trans men and some trans masculine individuals, being able to top a cis man or a trans man or a cis woman or a trans woman or any non-binary person, everyone, um, and being able to penetrate their butt would be very empowering and something dysphoria alleviating. alleviating. Um, so just letting you know, it is a possibility, but it is a little bit harder. But this dick, it, it's a dick. Like it is soft and then when you're turned on, it gets hard. So I'm gonna give you a little tip right now that I, have found out years ago and I love it. Not like I have a big dick, but like I have some growth and like I'm happy with it, I'm fine. It's not like gigantic, but it's not small, I'm fine with it. Um, but what I have found is that when I'm very hard, if I go on my knees on the floor and I kind of spread my knees like open and then I'm like kind of sitting down, your dick looks so much bigger because it kind of just like flies out a little bit. So that's like really empowering. So I just kind of wanted to let you know about that um, because when you're doing the penetrating on your partner, when you're kind of like on top of them, you are pretty much doing that same position. So your dick does kind of become more out. So because like less of the skin and things around are kind of like hiding it because you're kind of stretching the stuff, it, it like it comes out more so it's actually bigger. This way you're able to penetrate your partner more. And let me tell you how empowering this feels. Um, and I'm so sorry for people who don't have enough growth or who haven't been able to experience this, but for me personally, it was amazing to be able to do it um, and to be able to penetrate the partner. The thing is that I use a prosthetic to have sex when I'm topping and I'm fine with that. The one that I use, I absolutely love. It's the joystick by Transthetics and it has like changed my life and it's amazing. But sometimes I like to like change it up a little bit and not wear it because it either makes me a little bit dysphoric or I just kind of want to use my parts and stuff like that. And it feels really cool to be able to do that. Like I will tell you that I have been able to like come and it feels amazing to be able to do that just from using my own anatomy and kind of penetrating someone else. So I think that for me, it's been life-changing to be able to do that. I don't do it often, but when I feel the need to do it, it's there. And I always kind of use this, this technique. If you want to like get really technical and like, um, really try to penetrate and we're going to talk about the front hole right now you can kind of do you know like the lesbians they scissor don't like it, it that's not a thing but what you can do is you can do the, this motion but like you, you kind of like go and you're straddling one of their legs kind of because then when you open your legs you're able to kind of go in more because you're on the side and the legs aren't in the way as much. But if you're putting your legs up and the person's back and butt is kind of like lifted a little bit, I don't feel like you would have a lot of problem with that. Now, before anyone goes and tries this, oh my lord, please practice safe sex, okay? Because 
Um, we as trans masculine individuals can get STIs and can get HIV. So we do need to be careful. And because you might think that this is a very low risk type of sexual activity, doesn't mean that it's not possible. So I would just caution everybody to make sure that they are pretty safe because a lot of your like anatomy and everything around kind of touches and goes inside the other person. You really do need to be careful on what you use. I have seen some people be like use like, um, a, like a glove. I talked about this in a video, oh my goodness, like maybe like seven years ago, it, it, it was called like the moose. So you take a, like a regular rubber glove and you cut it along here. So it opens up and it's like this. Now the thumb goes on your dick and everything else around kind of protects around. Um, but I would also say that you could also use dental dams. So you would be able to like put the dental dam on you or on the person, but so I'm just saying like practice safe sex. You could try to put a condom on, but you're, if you don't have enough girth and stuff like that, it might not stay. And there are these like little finger cons that you can buy at the pharmacy, you know, that they use to like flip pages and stuff. Do not try to put that on your dick because I did and I was like, ah, I thought my skin was being like ripped off. Don't do it. Like even if I had put lube and then put the like mini condom on, nah, don't do it. Unless they come in like extra, 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 extra large and they're like, just no. So I just wanted to say that because when we're talking about sex and stuff like that, a lot of people don't like know about STIs and how to contract them, especially if you're a trans mask individual, like having sex with somebody who has a vagina or somebody who has a penis, like there's a lot of things. So I made a, <laughs> I feel like I'm promoting my channel like crazy. I just make a lot of videos. Um, I made like an STI video um, two years ago. So I'll link that in the description below also. So you can take a look at that because just be careful, really just be careful. Not the end of the world if you end up with an STI, but you know, it's it's better to, you know, but just safe sex because you could be trans transmitting something to someone or someone could be transmitting something to you if you don't know, right? So you just, just be careful out there, okay kids? <laughs> All right, so in terms of how to penetrate, that's my advice. Um, not sure if it made any sense, but really the leggies up, back and butt up, and you're kind of like bloop, plopping on top of them. Um, making sure that they're comfortable though, like put a pillow under their back, like obviously make them comfortable and it, and it's fun. I don't like, literally I'll tell you the first time I did this, I was like, oh, this is so cool, but nothing really happened. It's practice, it took practice. And it also depends on the partners that you have and how tight they are, like if you're doing their butt. And, um, and so there's so many different like things that you could do. So one thing that could work with one partner won't maybe work with the other partner. So it, it's a trial and error and I've had to do that. And I kind of have adjusted and stuff like that and it feels good to be able to use my body. Um, so that's, that's what I wanted to talk about. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. I will link all the videos and things in the links that I just talked about. Um, if you want me to elaborate or like be more specific or anything like that about, um, how to do this position or if you have suggestions on other positions, because this is just the position that I'm more comfortable with. There obviously are other positions that you can try. Um, and like explore it. It's fun. Like it's it's fun. Sex is fun. Um, so if you want to put any of your advice and stuff like that in the comments, that would be really cool. If you have any questions about this, let me know. But I will see you all next time. All right. Have a great day. Bye.